told them my legs started to hurt me in January of 2010. My knees specifically didn't hurt me, just my whole legs. And I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would have leg aches. Um, again, I was doctoring, I was going to my chiropractor. And I started to have massages, I thought that maybe that would help. I was initially diagnosed in the summer with uh, heel atrophy, which is a little bizarre because for 20 years I had been going to aerobics and I was a big walker around my town. I would try to walk two or three miles a day. So how could I possibly have heel atrophy? But I went to physical therapy for the heel atrophy um, and that was in the summer. The condition was getting worse. My legs were killing me. I remember going to my nephew's wedding and going into a hot tub before the wedding so I would be able to walk over to the wedding. About that time or shortly after that time my chiropractor was so concerned that he ordered me for three weeks bed rest. Also during the summer my the tops of my legs had started to swell and I really became concerned. I actually burst out crying one time when I looked down at my legs and, the t and my thighs were swollen um, but my calves weren't. Something was wrong. I was diagnosed with spinal stenosis and so that was supposed to be the, the final diagnosis and I was continuing to go to physical therapy but the physical therapy exercises changed from heel atrophy to spinal stenosis. By that time my daughter Susan was working for Dr. Kirshner and when she told Dr. Kirshner her mother's diagnosis of st spinal stenosis he disagreed. He said that shouldn't be the reason that she would be waking up in the middle of the night in pain and having such pain during the day. This Dr. Kirshner examined me and within a few minutes said that I had patella femular, which is uh, a condition of the knees. He rewrote my prescription for physical therapy and then gave me the advice of to avoid steps. He said, if there's a ramp, take a ramp. If there's a ramp and an elevator, take the elevator. And he said, in two months, I would feel better. And sure enough, in two months, uh, I stopped physical therapy. He gave me a set of exercises to do. It's been three years. I do the exercises in bed every morning. I have no pain. I don't have a Motrin or an Aleve in my house. I'm on no medication. And I walked three miles yesterday. He really gave me my life back and my future back.